Hello friends, watch this video and learn different type of loads that can act on the machine elements with the help of live example. Now the different type of loads that can act on the machine element is the dead or a steady load. Second one is a variable load or it is also called as a fluctuating load. Third one is the shock or a sudden load. And third one is the impact load. So let's first understand what a steady load is. Now if you see this picture, we come to know that the train is running over the bridge. Now consider the traces in the bridge. I shown us enlarged view of this. Now what happens in this case? It in the bridge, it neither increase or decrease in the size of an element. It remains as it is. Right? Uska weight ya uska size kabhi bhi change nahi hota hai. Second important thing is that it neither sh shift or move from their original positions. Oh, apne position hi mein hi hai. It remains steady. And uh, third important, the element does not changes with the time. These are the various elements of the bridge. Okay. So, same ke saath ho badalte nahi hai. So, a uh, steady load is a load or I can say a load is said to be a steady or a dead load if it does not changes in magnitude or a direction. Now, magnitude in the bridge, we are considering the size or I can say the amount of force acting on these each elements under the tensile or a compression. So, suppose I say the uh, in one element, suppose a 100 Newton force is acting. So, 100 is the magnitude. And we know that unit of force is the Newton. And the direction. So, we can see the, what are the directions which act here basically in the downward direction. Right? So, that is a part of magnitude or a direction. Now, let's understand what the variable load is. Now, from this is the one picture what we are showing. And uh, in this case, the student, they are sitting inside the bus one by one. So, number of students we are showing here. Now, we know that the number of passengers in the bus is not constant. It keeps uh, changing frequently. And the uh, load, which uh, naturally, there will be a somewhat variations. So, what we can say that a load is said to be a variable or a fluctuating load if it changes continuously. Why the word change continuously is come? Because there is a variation of the passengers. So let's understand what is shock load is. Now consider a electronics weighing machine. This is the most familiar machine we can see in the markets. Uh, now when a weight is applied on the machine, we see that the display board shows the weight and when the weight is removed, the display will go off. Right? Consider, I will show you an, uh, one more example. Now, consider the example of car. So, when we drive the car, we observe that a shock is applied on it due to the change in the surface of a road or a sudden change in the speed. You can see this is the bike. Uh, even we can see when the car or a bike passes over the speed breaker, sudden the shock is applied or a remote. Uh, so that is what is the shock load ultimately? A load is said to be a sudden or a shock load if it is suddenly applied or remote. Next, that is a fourth one is the impact load. Student, so if you see this uh, video, 
we come to know that uh, this is uh, this is part of forging right now and uh, uh, or even you can say that uh, it is a uh, blacksmith and um, he is just hitting the material and they are giving the sudden blow over the metal and naturally the shape of that metal will get changed now what happens here i show one more examples here now when he is applying a load right uh, he is applying on a, i can say from a certain height or a certain distance why because its intensity goes on increasing and that load which you are talking is a impact load so what is that impact load impact load a load is said to be an impact load if it is applied from certain distance or a height so that is called as a impact load thank you friends